Cinder Hall is a mysterious planet located in the accursed demise in the region of the Coronis Expanse. The denizens who once prospered on the world of Cinder Hall perished in a singular catastrophic event. An apocalyptic weapon, an unparalleled pestilence, or a synthesis of both laid waste to their primeval civilization. In an instant, vegetation was transformed into vitreous carbon, and fauna were petrified, seemingly in excruciating torment. The contorted and anguished remnants of the populace now line the charred avenues of their archaic settlements, each figure eternally immobilized in a tableau of suffering. The psychic death echoes of Cinderhall are a potent and malevolent residual energy left behind by the cataclysmic event that obliterated the planet's life. These echoes are essentially the lingering, amplified psychic imprints of the inhabitants' final moments of agony, terror, and despair. They pervade the entire planet, creating a pervasive and oppressive psychic atmosphere. The nature of these psychic echoes is such that they can be sensed and felt by those with psychic abilities known as psychers from great distances. Unprepared psychers who come into contact with these echoes may experience overwhelming sensations of pain and fear, potentially driving them to madness or causing severe psychic trauma. The echoes can manifest as haunting whispers, vivid hallucinations, or sudden intense emotional disturbances. In addition to the psychological impact, these psychic death echoes can also have physical effects. Some psychers report feeling as if they are being physically attacked, with sensations of burning, suffocation, or crushing pressure. In extreme cases, prolonged exposure to these echoes can lead to actual physical harm or even death. Due to the dangerous nature of these psychic remnants, the Imperial Inquisition has declared Cinderhall a quarantine zone, restricting access to the planet to prevent any unprepared individuals from being exposed to the lethal psychic environment. Only those with explicit authorization, such as a writ of trade, are permitted to venture onto the planet, often with the necessary psychic defenses or protections to withstand the echoes. The topography of Cinderhall adheres precisely to the archetypal characteristics expected of any celestial body of substantial magnitude, boasting a habitable atmosphere and a diversity of biomes. The sole distinction presently is that the planet has been entirely subsumed by the enigmatic cataclysm that has transpired. While the mountains persist, they are now enveloped in a lustrous black glass-like veneer. The sandy shores have been transmuted into a pristine white crystalline substance so pure it can be blinding to the unprotected eye. The oceans continue to exist, yet everything beneath their surface has been transformed into a vitrified semblance of the flora and fauna that once flourished there. The atmosphere remains breathable, and the climate appears unaffected by the catastrophic event that annihilated the planet. However, the precise cause of this cataclysm remains unknown. The ecological dynamics on this planet have been utterly and irrevocably suspended. Although the atmosphere persists in its motion, with rain descending and winds sweeping across the terrain, these elements now interact with a world immobilized in an eternal tableau of agony and terror. The flora and fauna, irrespective of their diversity, were instantaneously vitrified and annihilated. A significant number of creatures exhibit expressions of profound shock and horror substantiating the hypothesis that the inhabitants were cognizant of the catastrophic event unfolding around them, sufficiently aware to articulate cries of distress and suffering in their final moments. The entirety of the biomatter that once existed on this planet, along with the terrestrial substrate itself, has undergone a transformation into a vitreous material characterized by extraordinary strength and density. This glass-like substance does not merely envelop the pre-existing organic matter. Rather, it supplants it entirely, resulting in a macabrely intricate replication of the former biological entities. This process has engendered an array of remarkably detailed, albeit grotesque, statues that are now strewn across the planetary surface, each one an immutable testament to the catastrophic event that eradicated all life. One theory is that Cinderhall was engulfed in a freak warp storm of planetary scale. If Cinderhall was swept by a warp storm, the event would involve a tumultuous convergence of the immaterium, warp, with real space, resulting in catastrophic consequences for the planet. The warp is a parallel dimension of pure psychic energy, 
home to the emotions, thoughts, and souls of sentient beings, as well as various malevolent entities and gods. Warp storms are essentially violent and chaotic disruptions within this dimension that can have catastrophic effects on both the warp and real space. Warp storms can cause any number of documented phenomena, including demonic incursions, psychic turbulence, or physical disruptions. In the case of Cinderhall, some type of massive and catastrophic environmental impact may have occurred from a potential warp storm. If this is true, it is disturbing and exceedingly frightening as all life was exterminated in the blink of an eye. The boundary between the warp and real space on Cinder Hall would have weakened or been torn apart, allowing chaotic warp energies to flood the planet. This breach could have been caused by natural warp fluctuations, the influence of a powerful warp entity, or a catastrophic failure of warp-based technology. The fundamental laws of physics would have been distorted. Time might have flowed erratically, with moments stretching into eternities or collapsing into instants. Spatial dimensions could have warped, creating impossible geometries and causing the landscape to twist and buckle. The immense psychic energy of the warp would have overwhelmed the minds of all living beings on the planet. This sudden influx of psychic power could have caused mass hysteria, visions of unimaginable horrors, and intense psychic pain. The psychic screams of the dying would have been imprinted onto the planet's psychic fabric creating the death echoes sensed by psychers. The chaotic energies of the warp might have interacted with the physical matter of the planet in an unprecedented way, transmuting organic and inorganic materials into glass-like carbon. This process would have been instantaneous, freezing flora and fauna in place and creating the detailed, macabre statues seen across the planet. The atmosphere, though remaining breathable, would have been suffused with residual warp energy, creating a pervasive sense of unease and danger. Oceans would have turned into glassy expanses, trapping aquatic life in a petrified state. The air might carry an eerie, disquieting hum or whisper, remnants of the warp storm's passage. The psychic imprints left by the dying inhabitants would persist as powerful, malevolent echoes. These echoes, amplified by the warp energies, could drive unprepared psychers to madness. They might manifest as disembodied voices, phantom apparitions, or overwhelming sensations of terror and despair. Rogue traders and morbid collectors are drawn to the artifacts from Cinder Hall for their rarity, aesthetic appeal, and historical significance. These items formed from the vitrified remains of the planet's flora and fauna are both uniquely beautiful and grotesque, offering a macabre allure that fascinates collectors with a taste for the extraordinary. The materials possess exceptional properties making them valuable for both artistic and practical uses, while their connection to a catastrophic and enigmatic event adds profound historical value. Owning such artifacts elevates the status of collectors, symbolizing boldness and prestige, and serves as a testament to the daring ventures of those who acquire them. If the disturbing death of Cinderhall was not foreboding enough, any foolhardy explorer must also contend with the dangers of the accursed demise itself in the forms of Aldari Corsairs, the insidious Rack Goal, Warp Storms, unknown hostile Xenos races, or any other celestial horror lurking in this region. Cinderhall stands as a haunting testament to a catastrophic event that has left an indelible mark on both the planet and those who dare to explore its remains. The transformation of the planet's biosphere into glass-like statues and its pervading psychic death echoes highlight the mysterious and violent nature of its demise. Rogue traders and morbid collectors are irresistibly drawn to the rare and grotesquely beautiful artifacts, which hold significant value and prestige. These relics offer unique materials, historical significance, and potential insights into new technologies and psychic phenomena. The planet's enigmatic and tragic past, combined with the peril and intrigue of acquiring its treasures, ensures that Cinderhall remains a place of fascination and fear in the galaxy.